everyone. Today on Sugar Spun Run, we are going to be pitting my best blueberry muffin recipe against the best blueberry muffin recipe of ChatGPT or artificial intelligence. So unless you're someone who's been living under a rock, which no offense, some people I really like live under rocks, then you have probably heard about artificial intelligence, particularly maybe you've heard of ChatGPT. I have some concerns about the recipes that the, this artificial intelligence is creating. It can create a recipe based off of what I'm assuming is all of the knowledge it can gather from the internet. So you would think it could probably come up with something pretty good. So today I decided I would test that. I went on to ChatGPT this morning. I went on to the latest version of it and I asked it to give me its best recipe for homemade blueberry muffins. This is what it came up with. So we are going to be making this today. We're going to be throwing it together really quickly. I'm going to be comparing it to my blueberry muffin recipe. And then we are going to do a comparison, a taste test comparison. I encourage you to do the same thing at home. Let me know which one you like better. And I'm not going to lie. I'm actually very nervous about going against the computer this way. Let's see what happens. So this recipe I am going to provide to you in the description so that you can make it. And I'll put a link to my blueberry muffin recipe as well. The first thing this recipe tells you to do, get your oven preheating to 400, get your muffin tin lined with paper liners. No problem. Then in a large mixing bowl, we're going to be combining flour, which is all purpose flour. Then we have granulated sugar, salt, and baking powder. So one thing I can tell you that I noticed about this recipe right off the start compared to mine is it has a very short ingredient list, a very short instruction list compared to mine, which is a little bit more lengthy and uses more ingredients. I like that this is basic. I like that it's simple. And I will say mine looks a little bit more complicated, but I don't make my recipe more complicated to make it more difficult. I don't do it just for the heck of it. I do it because it's going to give you extra extraordinary results. At least I hope we are going to see. Okay, the next thing this recipe has us do Let's grab a separate bowl and we're going to be adding vegetable oil to this bowl. Again, vegetable oil, oil's great in a muffin recipe, adds a lot of moisture, but we're missing the opportunity here to use some butter, which adds a lot of flavor. I do that in a lot of my recipes. This next step is a little bit different. It doesn't have us actually measure out the milk. It has us crack an egg in a measuring cup. Again, it's different, but again, more complicated isn't necessarily bad. If it gives us better results, then I'm all for it. Now fill the rest of the cup with milk until it reaches the two third mark. Wait a minute, this is confusing. Add the egg, then fill the rest of the cup with milk until it reaches the two third. But then it says you should have a total of two third cup of oil, egg, and milk combined. Chat GPT, let me think through this. I think we've found our first flaw with artificial intelligence. I did read through this recipe before beginning, but I didn't realize this little snafu. After a lot of deliberation, I think we know what we're doing here. So this is going to the two thirds cup mark. Do, 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 do. Ta -da. And then we're going to combine it with the oil. Oops. It doesn't say to whisk everything together. It talks about it being combined. I'm gonna try to not be too nitpicky and I'm just going to stir everything together because I think that's the obvious thing that you would do here. But I, um, one thing I always kind of stressed about with my recipes is that I worry that they are too wordy and they're too descriptive. Now I'm understanding why I started writing them so descriptively because it's really helpful to have more information rather than not enough. So it says add it, gently stir until just combined. That's good advice. You never want to overmix muffins or they'll be dry as their recipe says. So just combined here. Okay, I'm already seeing a major error that this recipe made. It doesn't have me add the vanilla until after the wet and dry ingredients are combined, which is problematic because the vanilla extract now has to be added and we've already mixed everything together until it's just combined. So now we're doing extra mixing we didn't have to do, which could make our muffins tough because now I'm already worried I'm overdoing it here. And now we'll fold in our blueberries which again should have been done about 50% through combining the wet and dry ingredients. That's at least how I feel. If these muffins turn out much better than mine, I think I'm going to resign from my job. Okay, I don't wanna go any further. I don't wanna overdo the mixing. Let's go ahead and divide this and get it in the oven. I'm starting to feel a little bit less nervous as I go along with this recipe. This was the very first one I asked it for. I just asked it to give me its best version. It says a muffin tin with paper liners. Doesn't say what size muffin tin. I think 12 count is pretty standard, so I think it makes sense to use that. This muffin batter is way thinner than mine, which could be because 
we didn't really know how much liquid to use. But also I just do have a very thick batter with mine. It, it gives me the results that I'm looking for. So I'm comfortable with that diff difference. Okay, we're coming up a little short here. These are gonna be kind of small muffins. I gotta divide this a little better. Okay, let's just steal some batter. Get these muffins nicely divided. I'm hoping you guys find this interesting. I think it gives you a little bit of insight into how I develop my recipes and kind of how I got my start because there were a lot of recipes out there online that just were not cutting it for me, just how I started developing my own. And here we are today. Okay, for the topping, it does put sugar on top, which I love. Do that with my muffins. It's two tablespoons of sugar, and then it's a fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg they have us whisking together. The nutmeg is a bold choice. Some people are going to love this, some people are not. I, it's not a move I would choose to make. I would at least say it was optional, but we'll see. Who knows, maybe it'll turn out I really like it. All right, this has us baking in our 400 oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm a little nervous because that seems like a long time. We're always gonna start in the lower end. Let's just see how they look in 20 minutes. In the meantime, I will whip up a batch of my personal favorite blueberry muffins, which I'm already feeling way more confident about after navigating through this. So feeling a little more excited about the final taste test. You know, why don't I just ask ChatGPT what it meant? That's one good thing. I'm going to ask it. Where's my computer? Okay, well evidently we misinterpreted ChatGPT's instructions. So I don't know if that's bad on me or bad on them. But either way, I am knocking a point from AI for lack of clarity. Crack the egg in the oil. Now we add our milk. Always do this when measuring a liquid. Always get to eye level. It's the only way you'll know that it's actually at the right line. Again, a little bit vague on whether to whisk everything or not. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and just do the right thing. But not everybody might know to combine it. Don't think that was a third cup of milk. Gently stir. It is taking every ounce of control to not have added the vanilla with the other wet ingredients. This is just killing me. Okay, I'm not feeling good about this because this is a very dry batter. Like I said, mine's dry. This just seems super dry. Oh, this is a bad way to do it. <laughs> like why, why did you add it now? It's like a cookie dough. This isn't gonna work. I don't ever want to mix a muffin batter this much, but there's no other way to get it combined. I can see the streaks of vanilla. We're going to try the muffins I just made and these muffins and my muffins, just in case ChatGPT was wrong in its clarification because I don't feel great about this. Blueberries, I don't know how these are gonna fold in. Maybe I'm being too judgmental. This could be amazing. Go a little lighter this time. I wonder if I'm sounding like a total recipe snob with how I am talking about ChatGPT's recipe. But I am super annoyed by the lack of clarity. And while obviously I want my recipe to be the better one, I am trying to be very fair about how I'm making theirs. Get a little bit more here, a little bit more there. Questionable nutmeg mixture. Could be delicious. Try not to have any preconceived notions. Into the oven again. All right. We have baked three batches of muffins now. My version, ChatGPT's first version, and ChatGPT's correct version, which I'm skeptical about, but I don't wanna speak too soon. So this is the first recipe that we made from ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT itself said this is not accurate, but after seeing the second batch, I wanna give them the benefit of the doubt, so we're still going to dig into these. Maybe they were confused. Next, we have, by AI's own, admission, their correct recipe for the best blueberry muffins, best homemade blueberry muffins. Let's take a look at these. Just want you to see what the muffin looks like. Okay, and finally, my blueberry muffins, which I'm biased, but I'm, I'm hoping, I honestly think they're the winner and hopefully my other taste testers do as well. Okay, let's analyze the muffins. I don't wanna to spend too much time on the first batch because again, ChatGPT said that's not what they meant, but these look the most like what I'd expect a simple homemade blueberry muffin to look like. All right, let's open it up. Again, really quick on this one because they said that's not how you're supposed to make it. We're gonna break it open. It looks like it has a decent crumb and I'm going to taste it. It's not too bad. The nutmeg's fine. I, again, I don't feel like it pairs as well with the blueberries as I, as I would like. The crumb is a little bit, I don't know, dry? 
but this isn't a bad muffin. If someone served this to me, I would eat I would eat it. That would be fine. I probably wouldn't ask for another one, but it's it's not a bad muffin. However, they said that's not their muffin recipe. So they, the great AI said it's not. This is what they said is their correct muffin recipe. Maybe it's amazing. Let's take a look. These are very dense. The dough is a lot more like a cookie dough. It was impossible to not overmix this dough. So let's open it up. Very interesting crumb. Yeah, very interesting. I don't know what to say other than interesting. It's very chewy. Um, it's not really a good muffin. The crumb is just weird. It's almost like a cornbready one texture. And of course that's because not only was it overmixed because of the way the recipe was written, but I think 20 minutes may have been a little bit too long in the oven for it. We can just see that crumb is just a little bit weird, fall apart. It's almost, it's like dry and gummy at the same time. Gummy is too strong of a word, but it leans towards being gummy. I'm biased, but I don't, I don't even like it. All right, my muffin, we already know I love this one, but I am going to at least taste it and see what I like about it compared to the others. First of all, it looks like I used a higher ratio of blueberries. Maybe I just grabbed one that had more blueberries in it though. So that has a nice, I'm so biased. That has a nice crumb to it. I like that this one doesn't have nutmeg. Again, my own personal opinion. <laughs> I'm gonna look so biased here, but this is a really good muffin. I mean, this one is just so moist. It's tender, it's flavorful. It's got the perfect crumb. What else could you ask for in a muffin? Their chat GPT didn't have a chance. Okay, that's the showdown, guys. I'm going to have a couple of my family members taste these as well, see which one they think is best. But I'm going to say that artificial intelligence and chat GPT are not quite there yet when it comes to recipe development, at least not for baking. I may be a little bit relieved to realize that, I'm not going to lie, but I encourage you to do your own experimentation. Let me know if you've ever tried a recipe from AI. Now it is time to do a taste test. I'm going to bring in some blind taste testers. For your information, number one is the first ChatGPT recipe, number two, is the second chat GPT recipe, and number three is my recipe. So keep your fingers crossed, everybody votes for number three. Una, do we have to eat them? Yeah, try one first. I taste like bacon. Can I try it without the nutmeg topping? Oh, it's the nutmeg. Because that really throws it off for me. No, I don't think nutmeg works like with bacon. this. Bacon. Even without the nutmeg. Okay. I feel like I need a drink of water. Number two? Two. Cheers. This one tastes better than that one. Honestly, I don't think this one tastes as bad, but once again, the nutmeg. Huh. I can taste nutmeg. She's eating more. Is that better than first? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why she's better than first. I think it's because it's crunchy. Hmm, I do like a good crunch. Not something you usually muffins. look for in a muffin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number three. three. I mean, that one's an actual muffin. Absolute garbage. <laughs> no, it's good. good. I mean, it's pretty obvious which one's a muffin and which ones are just like rocks trying to be muffins. <laughs> hey, this one's good. Mine? Mm -hmm. Here. Okay, try number one. Okay, take a little piece. What do you think? Try number two. You want me to get you some non-blueberry piece? Did you like that one? Yeah. Oh. Good shot. And then you get to pick which one you want to eat the rest of. You can only eat the rest of one of them, Luke. Which one? I don't want the rest of any. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Mom? Number three. Number three is the best? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that's the, that's the AI one. Is it? No, it's fine. <laughs> you picked. This one I tasted like nutmeg. Yes, they put nutmeg in it. And I, I like this one. That one. <laughs> yeah, take it. Oh, he just wants whatever has it. doesn't have blueberry. <laughs> All right, if you guys try this out, I would like to know which one you think is the best. I hope it's mine. And fortunately, most of my family members now get to stay in my family for picking the right one. Sorry, Luke, it's going to be sad to see you go. <laughs> which muffin did you like the most? One, two, or three? Three. Three, yeah. there you go. Man, can you believe it? I'm smarter than a computer already. I didn't even think I was smarter than a dog. You know it's good because it's the one I keep picking at. <laughs> this is the fun part, I get to be behind the camera. Nikki, my sister. Did you forget my name? <laughs> but it's, this is a disaster.